and good afternoon. <laughs> Give it that good afternoon. Yes, get your attention. Uh, thanks for joining me. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day um, on Facebook Live first, and then they do end up on YouTube. And at some point in time, they'll be in a podcast that's coming soon. Um, called Message to the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today is number 300, 385. I don't remember which one it was for a second there. And today's topic, actually, I saw a friend's quote on, a, um, on her um, background image on her profile. I'm like, I need to talk about that. So what she'd written up there was, um, men chase, women choose. And I've spoken about this before in different ways, but I love the way she put it. So I'm going to use that in my terms. So I'm, I am borrowing it. It's not mine. Just so you know, I didn't, I didn't come up with that beautiful four statement, four letter, four word declaration, but it's the truth. And I put on the suffix, stay in your lane for a reason, because it's going to upset some people. <laughs> I'm saying it to basically um, teach and speak about a particular topic that you may have been confused about and get you to understand the power, the power of staying in your lane. There we go. That sounds good. All right. So again, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day. This is number 385, as I mentioned. And if you know anybody who watch this, you please share it with them. If you're not already following me, make sure you check the notify when go live on there. Somewhere on the screen, it should be around this broadcast. Um, and I'll tell you about when you find the rest of my broadcast when I finish. And also offer some um, um, homework. Oh yes, I offer homework. Don't prescribe it, but I offer it. So, um, I hear a meowing. <laughs> I'm cat sitting, that's why this backdrop's where I'm cat sitting, so my cat, my friend's cat is uh, apparently want to in the, be in the conversation because he can hear me. Anyway, to the topic, men chase, women choose, stay in your lane. I've had many conversations with, with clients and friends, female friends about this a lot because I have apparently got this um, anti-dating app um, line that I talk about. Because for women, the dating apps are not the first thing you should be doing. And that I'll give you in a moment about how that sequence works. Dating apps, dating sites, those sort of services are provided for men. They are kind of like a hunting catalog. Ooh, that sounds good. It's a hunting catalog because it's a catalog of prospects of what you're looking for. And for men, we are the ones that pursue, we chase, we um, hunt for, I'll say the prey, but I won't say that's not cool. But for mates as well, that's our that's our drive. We are the ones that are the the ones that court. We are the ones that pursue, hence chase. Ladies, the society that we live in has trained you to act like men. That's why you do the same thing that men do. And have you had experiences in past relationships? A few times where this was not working. I can tell you it doesn't work because it took me out. It, and I'm not blaming that for what happened to me, but frankly, I did choose to be lazy in a couple of those relationships because I didn't know or didn't recognize or wasn't aware of my role that I wasn't playing. I gave up chasing because she chased me. So I was like, sure, that'd be fun. So I chose, we switched roles. And that is one of those pieces of the puzzle that many people forget. And in the modern dating scene, I don't have statistics on this, but I'm sure that the percentage of men and percentage of women who swipe or click or message people, isn't that different? I don't think it's all men doing it and no women. I strongly suspect it's both. I know that one dating app I, I play with, I've had a lot of women liking me before I like them. So that's part of that message. That women think that it's... No, I say that differently. Women have been trained, have been educated, have been informed, have been hoodwinked, <laughs> yes, hoodwinked, to believe that to get a man, you should do it by chasing him down and hunting him, as men do for women. Not so, not so at all. There's a missing piece in this. And, 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 how do I say this? All right, I wasn't gonna to go to talk about, wasn't gonna talk about my program, then I was gonna talk about, about my program, and now I'm not. I'm, I'll talk about my program at some point. Um, or I'll just leave it hanging out there so you wonder what I'm talking about. <laughs> the nuance of courtship, the mystery of the date, the exploration of romance, 
is something that only works when one of the partners isn't chasing. <laughs> this makes sense. And chase and choose are great words to describe how men and women, when we're in a natural masculine and feminine, because that's a natural choice too, is how it works best. So ladies, when you come on too strong to a man, you will generally either knock him down and he'll go, sure, no problem, or he'll go, no thank you, you're being too needy. Yes, men think women are needy who are pursuing them, generally, because it comes from a place where men aren't used to that, and most women are not in their aligned natural state when they're actually chasing. And ladies, you can check in for yourself if that's true or not, because you may discover for yourself that when you've been chasing, you've actually been out of alignment with your true nature. You've actually been moved into your masculine without realizing it. And it's not right, not wrong, just what is. So I want to make sure you understand that this is not a reprimand. This is an invitation first. Well, it's actually first, it's an informational, educational, inspirational talk. And then it's also an, um, an invitation to choose differently. So that makes sense. So as I said, men are the ones that in the masculine, I should say the masculine, let me break it down a different way. Let's remove the man and woman for a moment. The masculine is the chaser, the pursuer, the hunter. The feminine is the receiver, the attractor, and the chooser. So we've got three on each side, that's good. So ladies, when you're in your feminine, most women naturally reside in the feminine. Again, most, not all, most. So I want to make sure I do qualify this, it's not everybody. But when you are looking for an amazing relationship, ladies, here's the thing. Look for the relationship after you've done the inner work to build the attraction. Because again, you choose. But if you don't know what you're looking for, you won't know what to choose. Sounds kind of obvious. And so, okay, I mention it. If you want to attract the man you want, and that's the name of my program, I have plugged that in there, then you don't hunt the man you want. You don't chase the man you want. You actually choose the man you want by attracting him. How do you do that? Well, the first thing you do, or should I say the first thing you don't do, is go on a dating app, or a site and swipe, or click, or whatever that is you do when you get on the dating apps. No. The work you do is off of that completely. You step away from those devices. Yes, step away from the device. <laughs> And really get clear what what moves your heart, what fills your heart, what inspires you, what thrills you, what turns you on, what gets your juices flowing, whatever that is for you, or what all those things are for you, the qualities, put your energy into in clarifying what those are. Because what you're creating is the filter through which you want to choose. Because choosing is just like binary yes or no. Choosing comes from a place of discernment and defining what you really want, and then you say no to what isn't that, and yes to what is. So you've got to clear what it is you want first before you make that choice. Does that make sense? So my program that I wrote was really based upon the fact I'd seen so many of my clients frustrated with this. And I see in the world so many women and men in the wrong place with their relationship choices because they're doing it from the wrong angle. So ladies, get clear before you start going on these apps. Because I'm not saying the apps are wrong and I want to make sure you get clear about this. Yes, for men to chase you, you have to be visible for them to chase. They can't chase blindly obvious so those apps are useful only only once you get clear about what you want when you're in your place of choice when you're in a place of ownership of your space what you really want what you desire and what you will not settle for less than I talked about settling a few days ago so I recommend watching that broadcast that was on today today's Thursday that's probably on Monday Sunday it was about four broadcasts ago so I'd check it out if, you're, if I were you and I'll tell you where to find those in a moment your ability to be in an amazing relationship starts from what you choose. It starts from where you live. It starts from where you are focused in your attraction energetic. And I'm not going to give you all the details of how to do that. That's in my program and you can find out more about that if you want to find I'll let you know if you want to find out more about that. Or you can reach out to me. I'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> what the true power of the feminine is a vibrational magnetic ability to attract what it wants. Truthfully, women are more effective at the law of attraction than men are because women are more able to tune that vibrational frequency into attraction more easily than we are as men. That's a gift you have. We have to work more on our feminine to do that because again, the feminine is what attracts and pulls in and chooses what it wants. The masculine pursues and the law of attraction is not about pursuing. The law of attraction is about attracting, hence the way it's called law of attraction. Let me get that point clear. So by attracting what you want, as a woman in your feminine, you become magnetic to what you're looking for. And once you've built that frequency, that harmonic, that tuning fork, as it were, of, of attraction, when you then go 
onto the dating apps or the dating sites or you're out in the world or in the, or in the line at Starbucks or you're out hiking, that magnetic frequency is going to resonate with somebody else's frequency that matches at the same time. So when you meet a man, it's kind of weird doing that, but if you get my point, when you meet a man who re vibrates that frequency, first of all, he's going to go, hmm, she's interesting, because you're vibrating at the right frequency. Secondly, you'll go, he fits the criteria, you'll feel that. And it's not about conscious, it's not as much words and language like going, okay, let me run my checklist by you. Do you do this, do this, do this? No, don't do that. Maybe on the third day. I'm kidding. That's not, that's not recommended that way. But the reality is, when you are in embodying your list, as it were, those qualities, the desires, what you want in a relationship, then when you meet somebody who fits them, you'll know. Almost on a level of intuition, actually more of a like, whoa, this feels aligned. Now, if you don't do that, then anybody could anybody could be aligned, and that isn't what you want. Trust me, it's not what you want. You want specifically specific focus into what you really want and attract. Unless you just want to date and don't care, in which case ignore this video. It's nothing to do with you. <laughs> but if you're looking for real love, then do the work to create it. Do the work to attract it. Do the work to choose it. Because why would you put less effort into your love of your life than you would into managing your bank account, your bank account, or your fitness? See, I've talked about this before, and there wasn't plans to do it now, but it's coming up, is that for some reason people put less energy, less focus, less money, less time, less effort into choosing relationship partners than they do about going on a career search. And a career you can be fired from after two years, two months, coming to downsize, or you can find yourself changing your vocation, as I've done a few times, over your life. But if you want a relationship that lasts a lifetime, wouldn't you want to put more effort into that? More focus, more intention, more diligence? Wouldn't you want to be more... Um, invested in getting what you want it's interesting to see how people don't bother and, and maybe it's a cultural thing a societal thing I think it probably is that people think oh love just easy to go and meet somebody you'd be fine having spoken to quite a few friends and clients in the last few months about how surprised they were by how the relationship turned down after they joined into it how they got into a relationship and it turned south or it went south where they were abused or the guy or the guy turned, the, the guy turned out to be a um, well a couple of cases he was a an addict, drugs, alcohol. A couple of cases they he was so focused on his work he couldn't spend time with her, period. He was just ignoring his workaholic. And she could not save him. And this is the thing. Ooh, let me say this one too. If you're in a relationship with somebody who has an aberrant pattern inside them, they don't reveal to three months into the relationship, it is not your job to try and save them. If that relationship if that pattern's been in them for years and decades, unless you're a social worker, I, I and, and I would recommend you walk away. Give that to somebody professional. Your focus is on taking care of yourself. Now, if you're in an amazing, incredible relationship that you never expected and it's beyond your wildest dreams, but this one slight pattern is in there, maybe you want to get some help with them, but don't try and fix it yourself. That's a dangerous path to walk because then you move in from partner to nurse and that's not a good place to be. All right, that was a detour. So let me back and finish up the focus on what I'm talking about here. As I said at the beginning, choosing what you want first for the ladies is fundamentally the way to do things. Because if you look back at your past relationship experiences and you didn't choose, how aligned were they to what you really wanted? I'm suspecting for most people watching this broadcast, there's going to be some like, well, sort of, kind of, but not ideal. And that, unfortunately, is what happens. If you want a relationship that rocks your socks off, a really amazing relationship from all the levels, all the places, Get clear what it is for you. Build that vision into your DNA so you know what you want and you can attract it. And then when you have that in place, then you go out looking on the dating sites, dating apps, and dating arenas, and you'll have much better discernment to know what to choose. So again, women choose, men chase. Knowing which lane you're in will change the way you date. It will also help you get what you want. And if you want that, I mean, in support of what you want, in support of that. But the thing is, again, as I said, again, if you don't really care who you date, then why are you watching this video? <laughs> but if you want support and want help, find it. Yes, I offer a lot of resources. These videos are one of them, and I'll tell you where you find them. Um, but also my program, my book, my coaching, that's all available. There are plenty of coaches out there. Choose Wise Name, I mentioned, talked about that one a couple of days ago as well. Choosing your relationship coach. It was yesterday's talk, by the way, 383. 
3D4. <laughs> Yesterday's broadcast was about um, what sort of dating relationship coach you'd look for. Anyway, so where you find these videos, just as a quick tip, this is number 385, as I mentioned. Um, these, t these videos, including this one, will be on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Also on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, in the playlist of Messages from the Masculine. And then they'll end up on my website under the video blog. My website is barryselby.com. And there you can find the video blog, my book, my coaching, my online program, attract the man you want. And if you want to find out how I can help you, and you also want to share some of your journey, you want some guidance, sign up for my free discovery session. It says, let's chat I'm on the left-hand side of the menu of my navigation, on my, my homepage. Click on that and sign up for this cover session. It'll do you good. <laughs> With that, um, oh yes, I mentioned homework. <laughs> to do homework um, for the ladies sorry Karen was that uh, women need to build a healthy enough self esteem before choosing works absolutely actually that's thank you alright PS <laughs> thank you Karen for that reminder I've talked about this before um, that you really only find a relationship at the level of self esteem you have the more you love yourself the higher quality of relationship you have if you don't value yourself very much the relationship you choose won't match that very well either so yes if you want to choose an amazing relationship, you've got to do the inner work to build up your self-esteem and self-support, self-approval, self-worth, self-confidence, all these things to then equal where you're going. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that, Karen. That, that, that was a good point to make, so thank you for writing that one. I did talk about that a few weeks ago. Well, maybe do another one. I'll do another one again on that one. So anyway, homework. Don't distract me. Well, thank you for that distraction. Um, <laughs> homework. I don't have a plan, so I'm just letting it sit what's coming up. So first what's coming up is for the ladies. Um, if you're someone who has been pursuing the men, your homework is to stop it. <laughs> and to start putting your focus into what do you choose. What is it you really want? Start creating a list. Um, if you want to go deeper, look at check out my program online. Um, but your homework, you know, to, your homework's not setting up, signing up for my programs, so I'm not forcing that on you. But attracting what you want starts with getting clear about what it is you want to attract. Kind of makes sense. So your homework is to get clear about what you want. Now men can do this too. Actually, yes, both men and women, if you're watching this, same assignment for both. Get clear about what you really want. Because for men, let me give you this little PS, it helps to have a clear image of the target you're aiming for before you go out there aiming. And it sounds very crass to say it that way, but it's the truth. For us to know what we want, it's not like haphazard going, oh, she's cute, she's cute, maybe not, yes, maybe, no. For men to attract a healthy relationship, excuse me, for men to, uh, yes, for men to attract a healthy relationship by getting clear about what they're pursuing, it starts with getting clarity as well. So both men and women, your homework is to get clear about what you really want. If that's a list or a picture or an audio description, how you want to do that, that's your homework. And if you want to send it to me for, appro for approval, for feedback, feel free to do that too. You can message me over social media or if you've got my email address, you can email me or you can sign up for the discovery session and put it in there as well. I think that's about it. I'm just scanning the heavens for more inspiration. Um, I think that's it. So I do appreciate you being here and for watching, seeing you pop up on camera. So thank you for that. Thanks for your input, Karen, as always. Um, and your, you've got your homework. You know where to find me. If you need help, click on one of the links I mentioned or, or type in one of the links I mentioned. And do yourself a favor, as always. Take care of yourself enough to warrant your love then you can attract the love you want as well. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.